going on everyone? So I'm out here trailing out real quick, you guys can see in the background. And uh, we're gonna address something that I haven't talked on my channel yet. Something that um, typical Jeep owners upgrade on their Jeeps. And I haven't touched bases on this, but on this video, I wanna flex it out a little bit and see what are the plans for the future for this Jeep. And those are the axles, all right? So right now my Jeep's running the stock uh, Dana 30 in the front and then the Dana 35 in the rear. So in the Jeep world, of course, and if you guys can see a bunch of YouTube channels and whatnot, a lot of people say that these axles are useless to the point unless you upgrade them and you re-gear them and then you axle truss them, all that good upgrades. But I'm here to say that it's not that's not entirely true. Of course, if you're rock crawling, it is true. But for other purposes, it's not. Um, I'll explain, like I said, once we, once we hit those 100 subscribers, I'll explain why I say that. But for now, let's address this real quick. Let's take a look how we flex, the Jeep flexes, and we'll talk a little bit more about the axles and what we have and plan for the future. All right, so stay tuned, guys. Welcome back to the Rev in the Jeep channel, everyone. Thank you guys for joining in. So it's a beautiful day out here in Southern California. We finally got our first rains of the end of the year. So I'm excited. We're finding the, the area is going to turn green finally. And I just love rain out here in Southern California. So it's going to be a beautiful time uh, uh, to end this year. But we're out here in this beautiful weather right now, enjoying the sun, soaking up the sun and whatnot. And I want to talk about this video. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I want to address my axles. I haven't, I haven't talked about this specifically, but it's something I do want to upgrade in my, in my Jeep. So I am running the, the Dana 30 and 35 in the back, which are stock axles with these Jeeps. And in the Jeep world, these are seen as very weak axles, right? They break, they're easy to break. They don't have enough power if they're not re-geared. Some people keep them and they re-gear them. But I've been debating on which axle to upgrade. I, I want to address the rear one first before I address the front one. But in this video, I just want to flex out the Jeep a little bit. It's not going to be hardcore off-roading for the reasons that I'm going to be uh, talking about later on. But I do want to address why I haven't upgraded yet, but I do have plans to upgrade it in the future. Right? I just got to save up. I got to see what is the best option for my Jeep. I am thinking of the four, uh, the Ford 8.8 or the Dana 44. So either or might work for my Jeep. Um, just a bit on a budget, like I said, I do have bigger plans. So <laughs> I want to start with that at least. So let's, let's flex it out real quick. All right. Like I said, it's not going to be extreme, but let's flex out the Jeep and see how it does right now. Let's check it out. So that was fun trying to get the Jeep on this rock. It struggled a little bit because the dirt, as you guys saw, uh, that it was wet. It's very wet from the rain. So it made it a little bit more slippery. The Jeep got covered in dirt. But it was fun. Look at that. I have a tire hanging on the side right here. And it's not as flexy as I thought it was going to be. Of course, it's leaf spring. Um, but anyways, it was fun, like I said. So let's take a look what I'm running. So up in front, as you guys can see, of course, is the Dana 30. And then the tire hanging out on one side. We got one tire on the rock. Uh, pretty fun, as you guys can see. Um, I don't have I don't have any regeared axles or anything. So one of the tire was just spinning and just made a mess over there. <laughs> made it difficult for the Jeep to climb up this not very high of a rock, but 
of course it wasn't as strong as I thought it was gonna be so that's the front right now all right and of course you got the Dana 35 in the rear stock axle um, it did all right and then the stock drive shaft of course so this is where I want to talk about a little bit real quick um, I don't have a slip leak eliminator which I'm trying to get because I've had issues in the past where this drive shaft would just pop out as you guys can see the tip of the drive shaft onto the transfer case it's uh, sticking out a little bit but with the flexing and staying in place I thought it was gonna pop out but either way that's one reason I gotta address this um, I don't want my axle to pop out when I'm doing extreme off-roading because that can happen and it's happened to my Jeep before so that's why I haven't gone extremely hard I need to address this before I you know hit harder courses because it will pop out so for that reason as you guys can see right there and then the Dana 30 in the rear I need to up upgrade this so I gotta see what I'm gonna do so let's check it out a little bit of good flexing <laughs> didn't do too bad and this is another part that I well you guys can see there all the all the mud swinging around right here is where uh, my body armor is very close probably like two centimeters or even a centimeter off the tire so if i would have gone a little harder it probably would have cut into my i don't know if it cut it but rub definitely would rub into my tire so that's something uh, i need to look into as well okay guys so we're out here in the trail we're out here flexing the jeep a little bit so you know what let's let's do a quick installation on the trail i know many people don't do installations on the trail but you know what we have it flexed out already so let's do this real quick so i've had these for a while it's not the biggest upgrade or whatever but I do I did have it in the in the garage for a while I haven't installed them so I decided to get them it's very simple so let's open this up real quick we're gonna throw it over it now but we're gonna pick it up I don't I don't litter on the trail so what is it it's just a Omix ADA or actually it's a rugged ridge uh, axle snubber so just to add it there in case it flexes a little bit more I won't my my tire won't bash it into my fenders so this is real quick so let's install this real quick and let's move on What do you guys think i decided to rock crawl the jeep backwards right so i know there's not a lot of people that rock crawl their jeep backwards i know it's not the best way because you don't have a spot or you don't know where you're going but i decided to jump on this rock going backwards it was fun i did take a hit on the gas skid plate oh, i got it scratched up but it's fine that's what a jeep's for but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this quick video um brought you guys along on what i plan to do to this jeep regarding the axle so that's something i definitely want to upgrade on my jeep i need more power i don't like the spinning of one tire versus the other one just staying there so that's what sucks about open differentials so at least so you know i want to address this and hopefully down the line i'm gonna get a either a 4.8.8 i have a friend that's selling one so i might consider it or i might just go with a dana 44 so i don't know comment down below if you guys have a little bit more knowledge than me um tell me what do you guys why do you guys opinion i know jtm off-road if you guys see in this video um i know he put a 4 8.8 on it um other people go straight to a dana 60 but for me i, I have to keep it on a budget so um i think a dana 44 or either a 4.8.8 that'll work for me so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh light rock crawling i know it's not heavy duty rock crawling i recognize that for but for now just to flex the jeep a little bit see what it's about it does well next time i definitely gotta lower the psi on, on the tires I, I forgot to do that i was too excited to make this video come out on the trails so i didn't do that but anyways anyways guys thank you guys so much for joining in and we'll see you on the next one all right stay tuned guys later